Hey there Aquarius, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This one is for August 21st to the 27th. Let's jump in and see what's on the cards for you Aquarius. Uh, before we start, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, think about maybe leaving me a comment and hitting subscribe if you haven't already. And that is because it is all engagement based here and if we don't get the engagement, the videos don't go anywhere and literally um, you, you can't really keep this up, it's not sustainable. Um, so I would love that if you could do that. Thank you so much. Much. Um, also, if you would like a personal reading, the first link down below will pop you over to my website to check those out. You might want to grab my free Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you're wanting to get started interpreting the cards for yourself, or to dive deeper into tarot, learn all the basics and my signature process for reading the cards. You can join my more immersive tarot journey that is called The Initiation, linked below, and follow along on Instagram for daily content. I'm making videos about all sorts of different things, angel numbers, kundalini awakening, so if you're intrigued you'll find me there but do look for the account with the blue tick all the rest are scammers okay we've got your oracle out and i've got a time for healing balsamic moon so it feels like something is maybe dissipating like you're moving into the healing phase things are coming into balance things are coming into harmony um maybe you are healing maybe um, you know, you're needing to take some rest, take some recovery here. Uh, we'll see what else comes through. So let's jump into the Major Arcana now and build on this theme. So Aquarius, if you know about Tarot, the Major Arcana are the big themes, the big life lessons that we all pass through. So a time for healing. Let's see what else we've got here. Okay. The death card. All right, so a few different themes here. Scorpio energy. You might be going through the process of release, of letting go. Maybe a relationship, maybe a job, maybe a home, right, or a location. Even if we want that change, you know, it can be, uh, you know, sad letting go of the memories. We can feel nostalgic. Change is just hard, right? Ending a chapter. For some of you, you might even be healing from the physical passing of a loved one or dear friend here. You know, we do have that energy coming through. So um, again, sympathy and apologies if that is your journey. But if it is about letting go, the death energy really talks about a situation being in its winter, okay? So when a situation's in its winter, it doesn't bear fruit anymore, it doesn't give us growth, and yes, all of our situations do kind of go like that, and they have peaks and they have troughs, but we know when we're in a, a winter, really, because it doesn't start growing again, even though we kind of tend to it and we put love into it and we nurture it and we compromise and all of those things, it, it nothing happens. So that is when it is time to release. Now, I see someone looking emancipated, liberated and free here, time for healing. You are going to recover, you're going to get your energy back and if you're going through a release, it is very taxing on you mentally and physically as well. So. This is definitely a time for self-care. And for those of you that are in the Northern Hemisphere, you're obviously coming into, you know, the last part of your summer and we expend so much more energy over summer. So soon it will be time for you to kind of go into your hibernation. Us of us are down here, <laughs> down under, we're ready to get into that summer, I tell you. We're ready. Zero degrees this morning uh, Celsius here, so... Australia does get very cold as well. Okay, enough chat. Let's get the cards out. Nine of Pentacles in the position here, the situational energy. Let's get them out and then read them. Okay, so the, the Page of Swords is in the challenge. And the Page of Swords for me is always the beginning of the winds of change. But maybe there is some resistance to that. Absolutely there is. There's the Four of Pentacles where we are holding on. Holding on and, you know, maybe there's some fears or insecurities arising. But we will deal with those outcome we will deal with those because we know that the outcome and the payoff is just so far greater you're going to end this cycle and you're going to have to step into that vulnerability but the world and the ace of swords are both victory cards victory that comes through closing the doors that are inevitably due to close anyway i'm going to clarify as i go aquarius alrighty and we've got the four of swords here yeah okay so 
for some of you this is a health journey i can see that four of swords is like i'm trying to heal here i'm trying to regenerate my energy and get back to vitality and get back to you know uh, work and get back to you know just being able to do all the stuff in the in the earthly you know world that i want to so that is for some of you now others of you are awaiting for the right time for this to close the door right um you know yes for some of you it could be you know in relationship it's not really swinging either way here and is a general reading but i do feel for some of you it is around a work career journey that maybe has has actually started to take a toll on your health right physical mental or emotional health they are all as important for each other and full holistic wellness is found by working in all of what i call the four realms mental emotional physical spiritual and i think that we we need to close the door on this for you to get back to nine of pentacles of vitality and you'll also do so much better financially as well when you're in that in that uh healed energy now it's interesting because in the in the four of swords we see the three of swords here and the ace of swords here we've got the ace here the three of swords is the severing of ties so i think that you're waiting for the right time or things to fall in place for the severing of ties now quite often the right time doesn't show up right and in the meantime you're still degenerating or you're still um depleting and really that is your indicator when we're off in the body and the energy and the mental health and the spiritual health and all of that they are all signs that we are not um you know our system is is not in a in a place of homeostasis because our external reality isn't or vice versa so we need to shift something four of swords take a moment if you can you need to slow things down while you're going through this process uh, page of swords is in the challenge position and as i mentioned for me that is the, the that very little breeze that becomes the wind of change picking up but it's it hasn't quite started yet because there's been this resistance because you've been conjuring up the strength courage and determination to do so and i think it's not because you're not really necessarily brave enough it's because you're just out of energy and then, then the last thing you can think of is like, oh my gosh, now I don't have to go through the change journey. Now, I always say, though, that the pages are the energy that comes in before the ace of the same suit, meaning we've got the precursor, the foreshadowing to the ace of swords, which happens to be your outcome energy. That's where you're headed. It's being prepared for you. Now, um, ace, uh, sorry, page of swords, Aquarius, is often little communications little shifts little changes that start adding up into the new direction so you're being asked here to start getting the plan in place the strategy in place start talking communicating get ready to share this news i'm leaving i'm closing the door i can't work on that project or with that client or be in this relationship whatever it is for you you know it's time for you to start sharing and expressing because when we do that it becomes a reality. I always say that the words are actually the strongest spells that we cast because if you say, you know, I'm leaving this toxic job and you communicate that, like all of a sudden, you know, the the, the contract to, to end this is in front of you, like everyone starts moving and organizing around you in that way. But while we're holding it in, while we're holding it in close to our chest, we stay in the same energy. And this energy is not healthy for you so four of pentacles it's time to release and let go and that's going to help you just well it's going to help you change so many things but ultimately you know you're going to get that health and vitality back and that on its own is worth it so that's now coming in with the two of swords aquarius like you're at the natural crossroads or stalemate in this situation and you do have this decision to make which is very timely because i just posted on my instagram this morning about my own personal formula for decision making we've always been taught that we need to make these logical and, and sensible decisions in our lives but my personal um, it's not even a belief it's a through life experience is that when we decide from that place 
purely we can make decisions that are out of alignment for us what we really need to use is three tools that you already have and that is yes you still want to make a logical decision right the pros and cons what what are the facts here what's the evidence without an emotional lens we then want to consider emotional intelligence what does my heart and soul say because if you just apply logic it might add up on paper to stay in this situation you might be getting paid well there might be some security or stability but you're not happy and you're also you know depleting so therefore if you put them to, if you put the emotional intelligence and the logic together we still have this doesn't work and then we add an in intuition when i consider staying versus going or whatever your two options are and I isolate each one and I feel and meditate into it, do I feel open, expansive and excited? Or do I feel constricted, tight in the gut and, and heavy, you know, and, and closed off? So there's so much information available to us. I think that's so powerful, that decision-making formula. Um, that, And I think that is what's going to help you decide. So logic, emotional intelligence and intuition will not fail you. And, you know, that's why so many characters are depicted in the tarot with the blindfolds on, because it's you've got to go within, even while assessing the pros and cons, right? You've got to use that feeling place. And I think if you do that, you're going to arrive here. The world and the, the Ace of Swords. So the world is the last major arcana, Aquarius, and it comes after judgment. And I think you're passing through the final judgment at the moment, which is the last call on this situation. You need to liberate yourself from it because we have devil energy here. We have something unsustainable, something toxic for you, which is slowly but surely draining your life force. You are ready to graduate this. And it might not be just in this one situation. You might have had a season or cycle across the last decade or even 20 years with the world energy where you've just kind of changed up, you know, different relationship, different employer to another one, hoping to find something different. It's ended up the same. I feel like we've got a repeated cycle here and it's been like just depleting you over time. By recognizing that and shining a light on that, we can free ourselves and that's why the world is a spiritual graduation card it's through that awareness and i, I have another formula for uh you know for for change and in, in, in full alignment as well which i can share in another video to make sure that next time we choose we choose something that is not going to have us repeat that cycle okay i've got the knight of swords here so we talked about like the little the little words and the little shifts they're going to add up to quantum leaps, right? And this is uh, fast progress and things really moving forward. So I think that once you get your head around that decision, you'll just be like, wow, I'm all in. I just I want this to happen now. And instead of just dipping a toe over the edge, you're going to go, how can I jump in? How can I jump through the hoop to my next cycle? So we have powerful, powerful completion of maybe a repeated or long-term cycle that's depleting you here. It is a time for healing, but first you actually need to initiate the change process you will not regret it you're going to be liberated you're going to be free yeah you might go through some fears and insecurities but you're going to be moving with direction of clarity in the direction of your truth and alignment and ultimately this is a new beginning that leads you to a fantastic victory we see the king's crown here because that decision making formula that we talked about is a mature decision-making process and you are graduating by looking at things you know in that mature way and being okay with releasing what is in its winter and will not grow again so that's what i have for you aquarius and i hope you enjoyed this message uh, personal readings first link down below will take you to my website if you would like one of those follow along on instagram for those daily readings and different content and please don't forget to like share comment hit the subscribe button on your way out i am just sending you so much love magic and healing for you don't you forget aquarius and i'll see you back here very soon for another one bye for now